Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. We're going to provide an update here. This is uh, recording number two for the potential atmospheric river to impact Southern California. Looks like on October 25th on Monday. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service Office out of San Diego. Here's the latest satellite image today. Storm system diving down from Gulf of Alaska, lots of cold air displayed on this satellite image. And uh, the arrows are pointing to an atmospheric river already in place from central California, southwest to just north of Hawaii. That'll be the main player during the forecast period. These satellite images are available at weather.gov. I also included a visible imagery from space. You can vividly see the deep low pressure already, already in the Gulf of Alaska. And a new one will form as we go into the upcoming weekend. And you can see bands of clouds and rain in those clouds extending from Northern California, Southwest to North of Hawaii. A few days ago, tropical cyclone, remnant moisture from that broke off in the central Pacific. And that appears to be a significant player into this current atmospheric river. The current atmospheric river is taking shape like this on Thursday, October 21st. It extends from just north of Hawaii, where it's most intense, and that'll be the main focus for this upcoming weekend in Northern California. And it also extends already into Central and Northern California, as shown here in the green shaded area. The next few slides will show how this atmospheric river will move across the Pacific. So currently we have a weak atmospheric river extending into central Northern California. And the white arrow shows the remnant tropical moisture that is now becoming the new and much stronger atmospheric river in the Pacific. You can see here that the atmospheric river as we go into this weekend on Saturday will be stretched out from west to east and start approaching California, replacing the old one. An extended moisture field is set up on Sunday here, as shown from central California all the way to the central Pacific. That is the focus of the atmospheric river. Another thing that takes shape on Sunday is deep surface low pressure area off of Seattle. That'll be a wind maker for the Pacific Northwest in Northern California, but it's also a driver into strengthening the atmospheric river. Two things you need is deep water vapor moisture in the atmosphere, and you need strong wind field to make a significant atmospheric river. By Monday, this is when we expect precipitation to be developing in Southern California, moving in from the West. The atmospheric river will be coming thinner on Monday, over Southern California, but it does stretch all the way across the Pacific. This is the projection for Monday across Southern California. Is this unusual? Well, we look at the low pressure system that is expected to intensify on Sunday, becoming a deep cyclone over the Northeast part of the Pacific Ocean, Southwest of Seattle. And these maps are indicating this is very unusual, unusually strong, not something that occurs every year in late October. This is Sunday's projection of surface low pressure area. The gradient that this low pressure will create also drives strong winds. Is it unusual to see an atmospheric river like this in October? Short answer is yes. The new atmospheric river that will set up over the weekend and early Monday, be over central and south central California, moving through Southern California Monday afternoon. You can see here the atmospheric river will be intense and unusually strong for this latitude, this part of California, and this time of year. Keep in mind that the location and timing of atmospheric rivers several days out can vary greatly. In other words, there tends to be significant error in when those atmospheric rivers make landfall and where they make landfall, which makes the primary difference in areas that receive much heavier rain 
versus areas with much less rain. The latest forecast is shown here. Northern Sierra Nevada and the Shasta Trinity Alps expected to have the brunt of the major rainfall, but rainfall will be significant over much of California and will extend all the way to Southern California. The outlook across Southern California is here. Our mountain areas, San Gabriel's and San Bernardino is expected to receive over an inch of rain and then taper as you go to the south. A more zoomed up local view for Southern California with specific locations highlighted here. Again, over an inch of rain, up to two inches of rain in the wetter areas of the San Bernardino Mountains and the San Gabriel's and tapering as you go to the south. We do think this will be largely a beneficial rain across Southern California, beneficial in terms of reducing fire weather threats. Wind gusts on Monday when this atmospheric river and frontal band moves through are expected in our coastal and ocean areas to be 20 to 25 miles per hour. However, across the mountains and some of the desert slopes, stronger winds over 40 to up to 50 miles per hour are anticipated as this atmospheric river rolls through on Monday. Why would we have such a range in precipitation potential with an atmospheric river? Well, here's an example how the high desert area, current projections are showing large ranges of precipitation potential. However, generally consistent that it will occur on Monday the 25th. So the timing is confident, the amount of precipitation is not. Be sure to check the River Forecast Center, California, Nevada River Forecast Center for projections on actual runoff from the rain into our rivers and reservoirs. One thing to keep in mind as well, we are coming from a very dry water year across all of California, in some cases record dry. Past 12 months and beyond for Northern California have received 50% or less of normal precipitation. In Southern California, just the past year, we are in the same situation. The storm system on Friday, these maps coming up here will show you the general weather pattern, jet stream, and storm track. The first storm that brings an atmospheric river will be exiting on Friday north of central California. As we go into Saturday, a new storm system will come down from the Gulf of Alaska with lots of cold air. That major piece of energy will interact and develop our new, much stronger atmospheric river. We are also looking at the potential for extremely deep low pressure developing at the surface, which will bring potentially strong winds to Northern California, Oregon, and the Pacific Northwest, and including the open waters. By Monday, the main jet stream will sag further south, but be moving through progressively central and southern California. That'll be the main force to bringing rain into southern California and sweeping the atmospheric river through on Monday. Here are the highlights, increasing surf as we go into the weekend, greatest on Monday. Also increasing wind across our mountains and deserts, and it looks like the primary wind impact will be on Monday. We could see some light rain and drizzle because of a deep marine layer over the weekend. The widespread rainfall looks to be on Monday, and it looks like it'll impact us during the commute. So starting during the commute on Monday morning. Overall, we're gonna call it a beneficial rain to reducing the current critical conditions with fire weather or the few moisture and the vegetation dryness. Rainfall, anywhere from as little as a quarter of an inch to up to an inch along some of our coastal and valley areas. Our foothills will see more than that with generally one to two inches. Rainfall rates expected to be under a half inch per hour and primarily we'll see a moderate rainfall, moderate to heavy, of an hour to up to three hours on Monday. The atmospheric river uh, will be extended across 
central and northern California, and that's where the greatest impacts are expected. Thanks for tuning in to this latest webinar update. This is Alex Tardy, National Weather Service Office in San Diego.